Here's an interesting idea. Why do we die at all? Why has natural selection never given us an immortal species? Have you ever mm. thought about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have. I, I have never reached a conclusion, but I, I always figured so, you live long enough, well, especially up until recent history, only long enough to recognize that it was all crazy hustle. Like, <laughs> it, 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 uh, that's a more philosophical. I'm looking for a scientific answer. Here's, here's one answer for why we're not immortal. Okay. So if you think about it, why would natural selection not have created a creature that lived forever? Right. Wouldn't that be it? Why, sure. why, should it, why should we die? Yeah. Okay, so here's the one answer. It's, it's not known for sure if this is the answer, but this is a good answer. Imagine there are two different kinds of things that can kill you, intrinsic causes and extrinsic causes. So things inside your body that result in you dying, defects, diseases, and so forth, or things outside your body, like accidents, lightning strikes, trees fall, and you just die, and so forth. Because it's impossible to eliminate all extrinsic causes, because some people are going to die from accidents, it would be inefficient from the point of view of evolution to evolve to be immortal. Because we would have all this capacity to be immortal. We would have these bodies capable of immortality, which let's say would be evolutionarily demanding, like to evolve anything like an eye or a brain or strong, any any quality, lactase, right? We Like we talked about earlier, you, you don't have lactase persistence into adulthood because it's not needed. So evolution doesn't waste anything. There'd be no reason for that. So there'd be no there, there would there, there would uh, there uh, there would be no reason. The argument goes to evolve immortality because inevitably some people would be killed eventually by accidents anyway. So unless you can create a world in which there are no accidents, there are no extrinsic causes of death, it would be if inefficient from an evolutionary point of view to evolve immortality. So death, the reason we die naturally, some people think, is that, the reason we die naturally is that there are unnatural causes of death in the world, like accidents. If we could eliminate the unnatural causes so that nowhere, no, no time ever were we ever killed by trees falling or lightning strikes or things like that, then actually over time we would evolve to live indefinitely. This is mm. the theory. It's a crazy idea. It is fascinating, but do you think that nature had that sort of, sort of foresight? Well, it's not a foresight, but that's how natural selection works. Mm. Think about, like, if I suddenly magically transformed your body at great expense to make you capable of immortality, and then two days from now you're hit by a bus, I've wasted all that effort. But if you've only done it to one person, you wasted that effort. If you di did it to other people, you have the potential to create an incredibly wise person with a thousand years of life and experience and education yeah, but he and also learning. would die. He also Perhaps. would die. So everyone eventually would die from these extrinsic causes. So Perhaps. So well, no, that's the, that's the assumption in the model. Yeah. If it's not perhaps, if, if in fact there are no extrinsic, if in fact there is a world in which you're never struck by lightning, never hit by a bus, never a tree branch, right. then, uh, then the theory is that we would have evolved to be immortal. So That's it's the almost theory. like the, li the life that you live, you're inevitably going to get killed by extrinsic causes. Yes. And if you extend that life to a thousand years, then it's absolutely going yes. to happen. Yes. Therefore, why bother? That's just living in a a bubble, just terrified of the world no, but, falling but, rocks landing no, but you on can't your head. Yeah, but you can't transform. You can't take this theory and this model and apply it to an individual in an individual life. It's about how our species evolved. It's not about how mm -hmm. you should live your life. I mean, right. it's also true. I don't think you should live your life afraid. 